Hello friends, welcome to my channel Creating Essence. I am Megan and I'm so glad you're here today. I'm out in the garden checking on my cucumber vines and we definitely have a surplus of cucumbers right now. Um, we only have two vines but I have 18 in the house and a few more that need to be picked. So I figured it would be a good day to show you all how I make my garlic dill refrigerator pickles. No sugar, totally clean, no chemicals, really delicious, and no canning required. You just put the ingredients together in a jar, stick it in your fridge for a few days, and it is really delicious. Cannot be easier. So I'm going to show you my recipe I've been using for the last few years on how to use up all these cucumbers. And here are the ingredients. Our huge pile of now 21 cucumbers. Contrary to popular opinion, you do not need pickling cucumbers to make these pickles. And if you have some of these that got lost on the vine or forgotten and they've turned a little white or might have a bitter kind of peel, just peel them and they work awesome for this recipe as well. So you need pickles of some kind. White vinegar, garlic, dill, and salt. Now I use pink Himalayan sea salt. You really can use any kind of kosher canning salt or sea salt. It's really not best to use plain table salt because that has anti-clumping chemicals in it. So whether you use that on the table or not, it's just best not to use that in these pickles. First thing you want to do is make the solution. The general formula, and I will put this in the info box below, is one cup of vinegar, one cup of water, one tablespoon of salt per quart, or that's two pints, of pickles that you will be making. There's the vinegar, now we're adding the water. And these stay fresh and raw, they are not cooked. We are heating up the solution to make the brine because we want to dissolve the salt, but we will be letting it cool entirely first. The salt can dissolve without heating, but it dissolves much faster when you heat it up. Oh, no focus. We put the water, vinegar, and salt in there, and I'm just gonna use a whisk every now and then with the heat on about medium high for a couple of minutes, and you're gonna be able to tell when the salt is dissolved. You can tell by feeling it, or you can stick a spoon in the bottom and try scooping it up, but whenever the salt is dissolved, you can turn it off and take it off the heat. Once it has totally dissolved, you can take your brine off the heat and start prepping the rest of your ingredients. First, you're gonna to want to cut those cucumbers. An easy way to do that is a food processor with a slicing attachment. Uh, I have kids sleeping right now, so I'm gonna go with the old mandolin. This is an inexpensive little thing from Target couple of dollars opens and closes I put on the largest one I guess that's a three I don't know exactly what that means if it's anything formal and I just slice them you can do this by hand but it is a lot faster and quicker to do it with something like a mandolin or a food processor Gives you a decent little slice and just continue to slice the pile of however many you're using. All right, we have 10 pickles all sliced up and I peeled a whole bunch of cloves of garlic. You want for a quart about, uh, depending on how much garlic you like, about four to five cloves of garlic. And I have little ones here. so. I'm just going to split that up about evenly and put some in each jar. After the garlic, you want to do one or two good sized crowns of dill. Now if you're using baby dill, the little feathery parts on the sides, you can do eh, five or six good sized sprigs. Take off the stem so that's not taking up valuable real estate in your jars. 
There we go. Two in each. And now we are going to put in our cucumbers. Because that dill can kind of expand in there, you want to push it down a bit. And it gives you all sorts of more room. And I like to make mine nice and packed up to the bottom of the rings there because we're going to put the liquid about up to here and we want them to stay covered. Now in this last jar, I'm going to do something a little special. We love spicy, so I'm adding a tablespoon of crushed red pepper flakes to this. This gives them a nice spicy bite and they are still so garlicky and dill and delicious. And now they are all prepped and ready for the brine. As soon as that is cooled to room temperature, we will fill them up to the top, put the lids on and pop them in the fridge. All right, the brine is cool. So now we're gonna go ahead and pour it into the jars of cucumbers. I'm gonna use this little kind of funnel. It's a canning jar funnel. You can do it without, I just am terrible at spilling when I'm pouring liquid. So I'm gonna use this to help me. We're gonna pour it in just until that liquid gets to the bottom of those rings. You'll see a lot of air bubbles coming out in the bottom. Give it a little tap. Sometimes that can help dislodge things. And there we go. Down in there that all the cucumbers are covered. You take out the funnel and some are gonna float up and that's okay, but that looks about right. And now we are just going to pop regular lids on the top. They don't have to be canning lids. They can be any kind that are just going to seal tight and keep them fresh in the fridge. And that's it. It really could not be much easier. Uh, these are best if they sit for five to 10 days. They will keep pretty indefinitely because they're in a brine in the fridge. So it's pretty hard for them to go bad with proper refrigeration. They are really delicious. The spicy ones will get a little spicier with time, but these are really good just as a snack on their own, on sandwiches, as a side dish. My kids just ate a whole quart with their lunch today. <laughs> so they are a really thrifty, easy, and nutritious thing to have around. I've actually even found my kids that don't like cucumbers love these. I hope you found this video useful. The recipe will be in the info box below. Share this video with anyone who might find it useful. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Bye bye friends!